Hello students and parents. I am uh, Anand Srinivasan and I teach Algorithms 1 and Algorithms 2, two classes online as part of Math Enrichment Center in Carlton University. And this is for students who are in the schools so that they can learn algorithms in, in a very formal environment. Students have already got used to algebra. Now that would be like solving an equation uh, for a variable or two. But what is important is how do you now take that particular thing to the next step and solve a complex problem. So what we are going to learn in algorithm one is to take a problem and break it into smaller portions and represent it in two different forms. One is as a flowchart and the second one is as a pseudocode. So now there are smaller problems that we will be solving in algorithm one and the problems would be more in finding the square root and things like that. And then over a period of time, we will go into a complex ma mathematical uh, subjects such as matrices. So as part of this, we will learn how to do a variable, how to do a data type, and how to do loops, how to do a new statement, and all those things. This is algorithm one. In algorithm two, we go a bit more deeper into the subject, where we will be talking more from graph algorithm point of view. How do you find a shortest path uh, in a graph? And uh, how do you find the optimal value or flow and things like that? So this would be helping kids to understand a bit more um, in depth into mathematical problems on how to really solve it using a pseudocode. Not only that, they will learn how to resolve these particular problems using C language. So an algorithm one will be concentrating on pseudocode and it will be concentrating on flowcharts. Whereas in algorithm two, we'll be talking about graph algorithms and we will be using C. So I really want you to take a look at uh, the website in Carlton University and see whether your uh, kids uh, actually would be uh, you know, interested in this particular uh, field. It's an upcoming field. Uh, it is used in many of the places such as networking field, networking and communication areas as well as design areas. In addition, we will be also having a special session for uh, uh, teaching assistants who would be giving a one on one session with the students if they have any problems. Uh, also, I'll be available between 5 and 6.30 for algorithm 1 and uh, 6.30 to 8 in algorithm 2 on Mondays to teach this course and we will be doing online so I would be engaging the students one on one as well as as a group and we'll be solving these problems. So I'm looking forward to um, uh, seeing you all and uh, please go to the website and make sure that uh, you register. Thank you.